we are going to do an unboxing video. First unboxing video on the channel. So let's see how it goes. I've invited Kirsten. Kirsten, co-colleague co at the studio. So we've got a package here on the table. Creative clues. You have no clue what the creative clues are, right? No. So this is a surprise. Um, I'm going to hand this package to you and then the unboxing will be yours. Creative clues, I'll include the links down below. Uh, it's a, you'll see what it is, but uh, it's a Kickstarter project uh, started by Andre Carol um, from Berlin. And now we have the unboxing. Um, and it's a set of stickers. See, stickers, can you show ah, it? What yes. kind of stickers do we have? <clears throat> set of stickers. And All these metaphors and symbols, devices mm. and technology. Mm. So, um. a lot of stickers. This is like the uh, Kickstarter edition, the full bundle. I think it doesn't come in a bubble wrapping anymore, but in a different packaging. But I was one of the first ones who uh, supported this um, Kickstarter initiative, mm. so I got the, the exclusive set. And there are <clears throat> So there are a lot of stickers, like people, what else? Devices and technology. There's a lot. There's a uh, lot. Needs and value. Needs and values. Industries and objects. What? Ah, I like this one. <clears throat> Emojis. Uh. It's printed, uh, oh, they have, they have an index. And they should be reusable stickers. We'll try that tomorrow in the session really? and see how it goes. So the idea behind uh, the set from what I got from Andre story was that uh, you can use these to enrich your workshops, uh, let people work in a more visual way rather than just words. Yeah. Um, we're going to do a session tomorrow, right? We have a workshop, so the idea is to actually prototype this. Yeah. Any ideas on how this might be useful in the thing we're going to do tomorrow? Yeah, I think it would be nice when I see this um, for the brainstorming because that's often a lot like with words and now you can also maybe get inspiration from these first and then get ideas. I think that would be something I'd like to prototype. And we're back. Yes. We got the opportunity to prototype <clears throat> Creative Clues. Not once, but twice yesterday. What did we do, Kirsten? Well, we used it together with the team to um, uh, fill out a project canvas and I used it together with a colleague yesterday. And how did the creative session go, the, the workshop? Well, uh, it went well. The people kind of got to get used to it, um, but they visualized words they already wrote down on post-its. And there was one lady that used it as a metaphor to explain something. To basically to tell a story, right? Yeah. In, in with an image. Yes. Uh, and the other way we uh, prototyped it, you prototyped it, how did you use the creative clues there? Well, that was more to make the poster richer, I think. First we thought, oh, we have to fill out stuff and I'll make some drawings. And then I thought it will go faster if I just use these stickers. So this was like a poster with a project plan, a lot of words, yeah. right? Yes. So, something like that. And this you use the creative clues to make it more yeah. visually appealing, yeah. right? What's your experience? Um, when, how do they work and when would you consider using them? Um, I would consider using them myself if I have to speed up, I think. You can work very quickly with it, you, yeah. And with uh, teams or groups, I think it's best if people are not really used to work with visuals or to draw. That might be a, a step too far for them. And then using these stickers is more easy. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> who, who do you think um, would benefit the most? Like who is the target audience? Are, are, are they people like us, service designers or? Um, I don't really think so because my thought was immediately, how can I create this myself and make it more uh, personalized uh -huh, uh -huh. or how we would 
very specifically use it. Um, but I think for people who start with service design or want to work more visual, start with making customer journey maps, for example, for them, it would be really great to enrich them and to uh, yeah work with these visuals. Yeah, we, we had the conversation like a lot of designers probably get the urge to create this themselves. Well, probably a lot of the, let, let's generalize here and use the word managers, like managers and all the meetings, the, the boring meetings where you use the flip overs and you don't get further than bullet points, yeah. right? Those kind of meetings. Yes. I think those are all occasions where creative clues would be really helpful. Yeah. Right? Yeah. In, in, in settings where people are used to, to bullet points, the bullet point yes. sessions. Yes, yes. So, um, what what would you say, uh, did you find any things that you thought, well, this could be improved or here are some opportunities for version 2.0? Yeah, I think so. First of all, uh, like when we first unwrapped the package, there was a lot on the table um, and there are categories written down on top, but it's all in black letters and you, it's not really visual. You still have to read it and to search what what belongs together. It's a lot of categories also. So for me, that could be quicker maybe. Um, maybe less categories, maybe four, and just a very easy visual overview of what, yeah, belongs together. That's one. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Um, we also yeah. we we also talked about probably we have, we have the full bundle like we have the mm. Kickstarter edition with everything in it and, and that's a lot and what we already saw yesterday is probably it's like the golden eighty twenty rule probably you'll just end up using twenty percent of the images that are in this set and but you'll use them a lot yeah so probably after using this for a while you'll figure out which images you fit your niche your yes. your audience and then you probably want a lot of those yeah. so this is good to start out with to get an understanding of what's possible um it's that yeah one other thing yeah i just came up um i was thinking i would like to choose the colors maybe in of course space. you do but that's uh <laughs> the designer kind of thing uh, to make it fit f uh with the the style with the we're working with. Yeah. yeah. So now it's a lot of colors and uh, maybe it would be nice if you could just mm. choose. Okay. So creative clues. Recommended? And when? To summarize, what would you say? Um, Buy this if you... Yeah, if you want to work more visual. And everybody needs to work more visual. Absolutely. The link uh, uh, to where you can order the creative clues is down below in the show notes. Uh, if you've tried them, leave a comment. Let us know what, how did you use them? Uh, what do you think are the pros and cons? Uh, love to know. Yeah. Thanks for the review, Kirsten. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>